Hi there. Today we are going to learn about how we can perform installing FTD image on 5 power 2130 model using version 6.7. Before we jump onto the session, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Once you get into the console, you will need to um, uh, hover over to uh, scope section for scope fabric interconnect A and then you need to set uh, uh, IP address for out of and management access. The command for setting up setting that IP set out of band static IP uh, the management uh, network IP address and its net mark then the gateway so once you um, complete this whole uh, uh, command set you need to uh, commit buffer in order to take effect of this configuration then need to come out of from a fabric interconnect and connect back to local management and try to ping your uh, uh, gateway for the IP address that you have configured just to ensure uh, uh, the gateway is reachable from the firewall so once you get the ICMP uh, echo reply uh, you can confirm that you have access to your uh, management network then go to local management uh, uh, sorry go uh, come out of uh, local management and then um, uh, we are now ready to download the uh, uh, firmware file from the FTP server so go to go firmware and then um, um, enter command called uh, download space image space FTP um, so in this case you can use uh, FTP server, HTTP server, uh, WinACP, TFTP, so on and so forth. In this example I have used uh, FTP server since I have the FTP client already installed on my uh, uh, test machine. So uh, the command set for setting a uh, downloading the image from FTP server, FTP colon forward slash forward slash FTP server uh, you, uh, username at FTP server IP and then if you place the um, file the firmware file into a specific folder you need to call out the specific folder name as well if not you can just put the root folder in this scenario I have used uh, uh, I mean I have put the folder under a Cisco then uh, forward slash put the file name uh, once you click enter, you need to enter the uh, FTP username password. That's it. Then you need to uh, put command called show download task. Just uh, so over this, you will be able to uh, assure that the file is uh, started downloading or not. Yeah, um, as you can see, the file is started downloading. Um, so as soon as you start the download, you'll have to wait for. Uh, the download to get complete as the file size is almost uh, 2 GB yeah you see uh, the file is uh, successfully downloading and uh, we have to wait until uh, the download complete so I for the sake of this video I have uh, um, I mean fast track the um, download um, as it takes almost like 30 for 30 40 minutes uh, I don't want you to keep, I mean, keep continue with me uh, for so long a period. That's why I um, over fast track the video. Again, download image, um, whatever the file location, file server. Uh, you can use that command to download your uh, uh, firmware file. Uh, you can see whether the download uh, kick started through that command is initiated or not using show download task 
it's almost complete uh 96 98 um we'll wait for a couple of minutes i hope so it will finish very soon Let's again uh, see whether the status is now showing as file available. Yes, the file is available now for us to install. I think uh, we can go ahead and get start the installation now. Let's go to scope, auto install. So here, uh, you need to input command called install security pack and the version. Here the version number uh, that we are installing here, uh, 6.7.0, build number 65. You would need to input that um, in order to kickstart the installation. So you need to click S over here as you are going to install the 6.7 version. Again, uh, it will ask whether uh, you, you are agreeing to wipe out all the configuration that are exists in the hardware currently. You need to uh, click enter as S. You'll have to wait for some time to the file, I mean, installation get started. Uh, most likely, the installation would, would take 30 to 40 minutes depends on uh, uh, the firewall model in this uh, case we are you we take in a 2130 so probably it would take 30 to 40 minutes so the installation has been started uh, as you can see and the services are getting stopped and uh, firewall will st start reboot now um, so for the sake of this video i have uh, fast track the uh, um, the in installation process uh, just to save some time uh, we'll resume uh, our screen and uh, we'll continue on the next steps uh, very soon so the ftd is now loading uh, most likely all the uh, files has been installed for us to uh, start the next uh, process so after it gets installed, you need to change the password um, from the factory default. Uh, once you change the password, it will uh, set uh, um, all the all the necessary settings. After you set up the password, uh, you are now ready to uh, configure the default management interface configuration. To set up uh, the uh, management interface configuration, um, you need to uh, follow uh, similar steps what you have uh, followed previously. Before that, we will just verify the uh, version. As you can see, the version now installed uh, as 6.7. And uh, yeah, and after you ac accept the uh, end user license agreement, the firewall will start to ask uh, the default questions like do you want to set up the uh, ipv4 version yes you need to click yes and uh, ipv46 if you prefer to use or if your network is applicable to use uh, ipv6 you can click yes as well and then uh, um, we can set up the ip address manually uh, so you need to uh, enter manual as an option and then uh, start configuring the management interface ip um, and it's net, net mask and uh, the gateway IP address, what it needs to be com communicate. And you can uh, uh, specify um, the fully qualified name 
what you wanted to set it up uh, for your firewall uh, based on your environment. So I think I rest everything you can just click enter uh, if you wanted to use uh, by DNS uh, server uh, based on your network you can specify your internal DNS or uh, if you prefer to use the external DNS you can uh, configure so um, I'm not configuring any search domains I'm just clicking as none um, yes based on the settings that you have uh, given as an input uh, the firewall will configure those settings and it will make you uh, to use the firewall lab as an initial lab ready ready readily available setup so do you this is the main important step uh, are we going to manage the device uh, locally or through fmc so here if you're if you're having fmc uh, firepower management center in your network you need to give uh, no because you wanted to manage the device through FMC if you don't have FMC and you wanted to ma manage the device locally you can uh, type as enter sorry yes and click enter so I do have uh, uh, FMC at my network I'm going I'm that's why I'm choosing up uh, no uh, as I do want to prefer to use uh, FMC for my management purposes again um, so you need to um, understand few things clearly uh, you may not have option uh, to uh, do uh, custom configuration or advanced configuration in, in FTM um, you might need to uh, go for uh, FMC as an uh, best option to configure uh, uh, all the advanced configuration like uh, site to site VPN uh, tunnel, uh, um, any kind of configuration, access control policy, um, whatever uh, the firewall has to be configured. Um, FTM has the limit limitation locally, um, whereas FMC can have all the advanced features and configuration options. So I have chosen uh, the firewall to be acted as a routed mode. After I give that, uh, the firewall is starting now with the routed mode configuration. I believe um, so. With this, this uh, uh, setup, I uh, you are pretty much set it up the firewall to um, integrate it uh, um, initially with the um, FMC. So one more last step uh, that we we need to follow it here, uh, which which will. Uh, register the uh, firewall back to FMC uh, as you need to consider in this step um, both FMC and uh, firewall has to be in the same version or FM FMC can be in a uh, um, higher version also if we don't have uh, equal uh, version uh, you don't have option to uh, manage it from FMC um, as I, uh, I mean, as I, my FMC is still having the old version, I need to pr prefer to uh, uh, upgrade that first uh, for that to uh, uh, integrate it with the FMC. But yes, uh, you can uh, register the basic settings in the firewall itself uh, uh, so that uh, whenever the FMC is ready, you can, uh, um, you can complete the partial configuration. So here with I'm configuring the um, uh, FMC console the command to configure that uh, a configure manager space add and the FMC server IP uh, and then the um, key registration key whatever uh, you wanted to uh, um, add this device back to FMC so this is just a uh, manual and uh, uh, user control that you can uh, just put whatever you want and you need to keep remember that uh, until you get registered back to uh, FMC. So once you give this, uh, uh, the firewall is now ready to manage it through uh, FMC. Um, probably uh, on the next video, what uh, we can learn how to perform the FMC upgrade uh, from uh, whatever the version you have. In my case, I have a 6.4. 
from 6.4 to 6.7 i'm gonna uh, start upgrading the fmc console so let's uh, meet in the next session and hopefully this video is uh, uh, useful for you um, and uh, you can make use of this video for your learning and uh, your uh, uh, i mean upgrade purposes thank you so much and don't forget to uh, subscribe my youtube channel and uh, keep watching uh, you might if you get interested in my uh, channel app uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, put your comments i will uh, uh, try to capture uh, as much as videos i can and uh, uh, yes we'll we'll see in the next video thank you so much